Hi, my name is Rags and I'm the Kenyan wine brat. And today we're going to be talking about a grape called Pinot Noir. Now, the Pinot Noir grape hails from a place in France called Burgundy. And Burgundy is known as a, as a place that grows mostly Pinot Noir grapes. And actually, when you go to um, a, a store or something, or a wine store, and you see a, a, a French wine that has the name Burgundy, um, and it's red, chances are that the grape you're going to buy is going to be, I mean, the glass, that you, the bottle you're going to buy that has a name called Burgundy is a Pinot Noir. Now, the French are weird because they never say, oh, this is the type of wine you're going to buy. Most of the, them, most of the time, actually, they just write the place where the wine was made. And you're meant to assume or know, you're meant to know <laughs> the, the, the kind of wine that this is. So if you see a wine from Burgundy and it's white, it's a Pinot Noir. If it's a red bag, I mean a white Burgundy, then it's a Chardonnay. So that's just a little tidbit or a little whatever, a tip on the side. Anyway, let's talk about Pinot Noir. I think of Pinot Noir as, um, to me, a Pinot Noir is pretty much a high maintenance lady. It's kind of like it's very high maintenance. The winemakers take a lot of time taking air and they spend a lot of time taking care of the grapes, making sure that the grape doesn't ripen earlier than it should. They are uh, pretty much um, no, uh, basically they, the Pinot Noir is known to have a very thin skin and, um, and it just, it's just high maintenance, pretty much. It's like a high, I mean like a pretty high maintenance lady. Speaking of pretty, it tastes really good. Unfortunately, uh, because of the, the care that the winemakers take to, to, to work on the grape and to make wine out of the grape, the, the, the Pinot Noir grapes, I mean, the Pinot Noir bottles tend to be really expensive. So if you go to your local store and you look at the prices of Pinot Noirs, good Pinot Noirs actually are $25 and above. I personally... I've drunk a couple of Pinot Noirs, and the one that I drink is a, called Castle Rock Pinot Noir, and it goes for like 10 bucks. What I'd recommend you do is um, go to your store and ask your wine steward, ask them, this, and just tell them actually, this is my price point, and if your price point is 10 bucks, go to them, say my price point is $10, could you show, him, show me or point me towards a really good, inexpensive Pinot Noir? And these guys are good. They they they'll lead you and they'll show you uh, they'll they'll show you a good Pinot Noir. 